Heat is proving once again to only be dangerous but deadly. Now, there have now been four suspected heat deaths in the Kansas City area over the last few days. The latest suspected victim is a 70 year old Kansas City, Kansas man who was found dead yesterday. Cynthia Newsom has been following this story. She's live now. Cynthia? Yeah, that Kansas City, Kansas man did not have a fan or a working air conditioner in his home. And many of the homes here near the Bell Fountain Salvation Army Community Center also do not have working air conditioners or fans. So the residents are forced to find a way to stay cool. All right, we'll get a fan for you and bring it out to you, okay? This is a scene repeated over and over again at the Bell Fountain Salvation Army Community Center in downtown Kansas City. People are desperate to get a fan. Delisha Suffren is getting a fan for her son who's sick and doesn't have air conditioning. Without the fan, I don't think he can cope with it too much. He'd be back in the emergency room tonight if he didn't have us. We get here first thing in the morning. People are here just to come in to sit. You know, we hear uh, me and the wife get here sometime about 8 o'clock each morning, and people line up at the door just to come in and just to sit and just to cool off. The Salvation Army captain told us entire families are regulars here because their homes simply don't have air conditioning. And they come here every day. The children are here all day in our summer program because it's so hot. And the mother comes and volunteer, and the husband volunteers as well so they can get out of the heat. Finding a safe place for shelter from the scorching sun. It's important to remember that senior citizens and children are especially vulnerable in hot weather like this, and many of them can't fend for themselves. So it's important to take care of your own family and yourself, but also in this kind of heat, check on your neighbors and make sure they're okay too. Reporting live, Cynthia Newsom, 41 Action News. Now, if you or someone you know needs a place to get out of the heat, there are many cooling centers open all across the city. That includes Salvation Army locations around the area and all 30 branches of the Mid-Continent Public Library System that covers Jackson, Platt, and Clay Counties. The public libraries in Johnson County are also cooling centers. There are several other locations as well. If you need a complete list for someone, go to KSHB.com, stroll down to the Spotlight section. The death in KCK brings the total to four for the metro area. The Kansas City, Missouri Health Department reported three suspected heat-related deaths last week. And we also learned this afternoon there were three heat-related deaths in St. Louis today. We have continuing coverage of this heat and its impact on the metro, including how one woman is helping her garden grow leaps by leaps and bounds without using the hose. And we're going to do that in just minutes.